There's a sub. The thing is, Mr. Wallace, um, I had to finish this for Mr. Foster's class. Uh -huh. It's a third of our grade. You understand that we're having this conversation right now? Sir? It's one thing to skip a class, but now I've told you to go to that class, so now it's sort of becoming another thing. Right, yeah. The thing is, Mr. Wallace, I think it might be better for me to get in trouble for skipping class, but be able to finish the essay. Jude, you're a weird kid. But we both got a job to do, Jude. Your job is to go to class. My job is to be a guidance counselor and tell you to go to class and also to help you get out into the real world in one piece. Got it? Yeah. OK. You had a terrible summer, Jude. I know. I'm sorry I didn't get to your father's funeral. The school wanted somebody to be there. But you, you, you still got to follow the rules like everybody else, OK? And trust me, there are much larger hurdles out there than a paper for Mr. Foster. OK. Now, we know that there are marbles in the jar. But if we make the jar opaque, is it still possible to say that there's a one in nine chance that, excuse me, Mr. What's his name? Jude. Hey, Jude. Am I disturbing you? No. Good. Then maybe you can answer the question. I was listening, sir. Terrific. What did I say? You have a jar of marbles we can't see through, and you want to know if there's a one in nine chance that the number of marbles starts with a one through a nine. But that's wrong. I'm sorry? It's wrong. There's actually a 30% chance that the number of marbles starts with a one, and about a 20% chance that it starts with a two, and so on. It's called Benford's Law. Mr. Reeves hasn't gotten to it yet, but he will. So it's not your fault, because it's probably not in his class book yet. So if we turn the jar opaque, and now we can't see the marbles. That was awesome. Are you kidding me? I like how we went back to the marbles. Oh, it was fantastic. How'd you know what it was? I didn't really. I think I heard it on a radio show or something. I, I don't know. It just came out. Are you serious? You don't even know if it's real? I think it is, but no, <laughs> not really. Did you finish? Barely. Hey, Judy. That was great. You finally found someone that you could out geek. Shut up, Derek. You made it up. Seriously, Judy? Not thrill, I think. I thought it was cool. No, 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 you go away. <laughs> mm. Wait, what? What is that? Just a hunch. I'd tuck that rook back inside if I were you. Never. Wait, what? I... It was the rook, I think. Yep. Let's play again. Reset the clocks. We picking Nell up tonight? She can't come. Why not? Uh, she's babysitting her sister. She said that if her dad gets back in time, she'd try. So what kind of party is this tonight? What do you mean? I mean, what kind of party is that? Just a big party. I don't, <laughs> the Muff Dicks are moving and David thought it'd be cool to have a big party in their empty house. Wow, they just rebuilt that house. Yeah, but David's dad got a job in Atlanta. Well, I hope they don't burn down the kitchen in Atlanta, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So the parents will be home then, right? Probably, I don't know. Beer? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Jude? Yeah? Um, this isn't one of those rainbow parties, is it? What? You know, where the girls put different color lipsticks on and the boys try to oh, sleep. Oh my God, Mom, no! Jude? Mom, that doesn't even exist. Well, they do. I read about it in the paper. No, Mom, it's just a myth. It was on a parent's blog as Mom, well. Mom, I'm begging you, please don't talk about it. Please, it's made up. Okay, I'm just trying to be a well-informed mother. That's fake. Get promise. The whole school coming to this party? Yeah, they have a rule. If you invite any kids, you have to invite all of them. Really? Mom, no, that ended in fourth grade. Maybe I should just say hi to the Muftiks. Mom, please. Just to wish them well, to see them off. Mom, I gotta go. Okay, call me when you need to lift. Hey, Judy! Hey. The world can be full of pricks. Try to avoid them. Okay, Mom. I'll call you later. Kids, don't just hide in here. <laughs> Jesus. I know. There are kids here from everywhere. Who brought them? Nobody knows. They all just showed up. Derek and Junior that group are headed in. Shit. Where are your parents? They're already in Atlanta. I'm staying with my grandmother for the next week. Hey. Hey. It looks like your party got hijacked. Yeah. OK. Nothing left to do but ride it out. Will you guys hang out and help me clean up after? Mom must be home by 11. Oh, hopefully they'll be gone by then. Who brought the keg? I don't know. Some kid just dragged it in the bathroom. OK, well, you know what? I need to go to the bathroom. Was this David's? Ah, uh, sister. <sighs> well, parents, I guess? I think I'm gonna go. Why? Because this blows and maybe no one won't even show up. Why not? It's just to stay with their little sister. Why'd you laugh at school today when Derek called me a geek? I didn't. Yeah, he did. Jesus. What? It's huge. Look at this many clothes. David's mom, I guess. They have a closet inside of a closet. David's rich, I think. Let's get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> Great, I'm going back down. No, oh, come on, let's look at these. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Probably David's dad's from before the internet. What do you got? Jesus, Derek. What is it, Judy? I, um... <laughs> David work himself silly to these? This is his parents' bedroom. Gross. Yeah. Where's your girlfriend, Judy? She'll be here. OK. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hey, kids! Come up here! Oh, shit. 
Derek's just gonna torture him. Maybe better them than us. Ah, come on. All right, settle down, get into a circle. We are gonna play a game. There are only two redheads in this deck, and real redheads, I've checked. Everybody gets a card, but the two who get the real redheads either make out in front of us for three minutes or go in the closet for seven minutes. But what if two guys get the red card? Well, the game's a game. I guess there's no exceptions. No, no way do I want to look at naked old people. You're saying you don't, which is cool, but you do. All right, <laughs> sit down, kiddos. Black, brown. Ah, blonde, nice. Brown, red, woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, no, no, no. Sit right back down. <laughs> One gone. You taking her place? Shut up, Derek. I just want to look at something. No, you're either in or you're out. Now you're in, Judy. All right, new game. Give me back the cards. <sighs> hey, let me look at those. You saw them already. Hey, Brainiac, you want to see the cards? Play the game. Fine. <laughs> brown, brown, blonde, black, blonde, brown, blonde. Hey. You either in or you're out. So, all the way around, no reds, so we keep on going. Black, blonde, black. Blonde, blonde, brown, black, brown, blonde, black, brown, blonde. Red! Shit. Okay, oh. we're not making out, so let's go sit in the closet. Come on, Judy, into the closet. Let's go, Judy! Shit. Let's go, Judy! Don't even think about touching me. <laughs> I wasn't going to. Really? No, I have a girlfriend. I know. Belle. Nell. Whatever. Do you have a watch? <laughs> uh, I have a phone. This is gonna be a long time. Yeah. I'll let you touch me if you want. No, that's okay. Thanks, though. I'm gonna try to get a beer. Aren't you dating Derek? Not really. I'm sorry he calls you Judy all the time. It's okay, I've been hearing it since like <laughs> second grade and you do it too. Yeah. Your folks name you after that song? No, there's a book. Called Jude? Yeah, I never read it though. Is it true that you made up that thing in class? Sort of, yeah. That was cool. Is Kent gay? <laughs> no, what? Just never dates anybody. Yeah, but 
I don't think that makes him gay. That makes him a regular high school junior. Yeah. I know he made out with a girl. A woman. Really? Who? Someone's mom. No way. Who? Kendall's mom. Jesus. <laughs> We're done. Okay. Hey, assholes, it's time. David is? David who? Mufti. No. What about Ken? Shut up. Where are they? Downstairs? Oh, they didn't come out. What? No one came out. I already did that, Ken. What did you do, Derek? Hey, I didn't do anything. They didn't come out. All right, well, let's find them. Mom. Where are you? I'm coming home. You don't have to pick me up. I've been trying to call you.
you, Dad? What are you, what are you doing here, Mom? Do worry about your mother. Worry about me. Did you do it? Do what? This is not the time for this. Did you hurt that kid? What? No, what kid? What kid? Derek Colby. I just, I just saw him at the party. What party? And why do the police think you did it? Why are the people saying that they saw you do it? Do what? Stab him. In the park. How are you here, Dad? What do you mean, how am I here? Where the hell am I supposed to be? Take it easy, Drew, please. My boy killed the kid. Why don't you tell me to take it easy? I have to go to my room for a second. What did you do? I didn't do anything, Mom, I promise. Change your clothes, the lawyer's coming. Seriously, if they're off banging each other, I will kill them both. I didn't think you guys were dating. We are. That's not what I heard. Shut up, Kent. If anything, I want to date her sister. Uh, they sent her away. To where? To some fancy old girls school. Hey! Stop talking! Where are they? I don't know. There's not another way out of that closet. I don't think so. What do you mean, I don't think so? I mean, I've never been in there before either. What? I never knew it was there. You have a secret closet in your house? I don't think it was secret. I just didn't know it was there. Dude! Why isn't the music playing? You David? Yeah? The cops are here. Did you let them in? I don't know. Hey, people, shut up! The cops are here. Is this your house? It is, yeah. Are your parents home? No, uh, not yet. They're coming. We're moving to Atlanta. <laughs> Is there any alcohol in here? No. OK, listen. Keep it down. You're getting noise complaints, and I don't want to come back here. You got it? Yeah, I do. Thank you. Shit. There's Mead here. There's no sign of drinking or drugs, and the kids said they'd keep it down. The number you reached is a non-working number. Derek. Please check yeah. the number Call June. Again. Why? To see where the she is. Jesus. Is It's not working. That's what I got with Jude's. What the... Stop looking at me like it's my fault. The police were already here. They're out looking for him. Mom? No. But I think it would be better if you came here. My dad asked you to change your clothes, Jude. I will in a sec. Can I ask you something? What? He will. I promise. Is this you? 
Who gave that to you? It was in David's house. David who? David Muftik. Is there anything we can do? Jesus. Is it you? Just give it to me. Fine. We'll talk about it when you get here. I can't move. Give it to me, Jim. I can't move. I think I need it. For what? I don't know. I'll tell you in a minute. He's got one of the pictures. Of what? The playing cards. Jude! Jude! Jude, get down here! Dad's not here, Jude. He's at home. You know that. Where is this? How did you get here? I don't know. We were in a closet. We? Who came with you? June. June? O'Neill? Johnson. Well, you better get the hell back. How? Where's the closet? David Muftix. Mr. Wallace, why did you hit me? Is it true that Derek's dead? Yes. The police said I did it. Yep. You're in the wrong place, Jude. <sighs> Get up. What? Get out. Get out of here. How? I don't know. Try the closet. Just get up. What? I have to get home, Mr. Wallace. You sure do. Okay, we're gonna stay here. You guys can take off. Dad's upstairs.
across the street. You guys go up, we'll go down. Your ass up here! You brought the police. Nobody, he's a douchebag. Then why did you invite him? I didn't, he just showed up. Then why didn't you get him to leave? We don't know. I think he might have uh, disappeared. What? They were playing that game, Seven in Heaven, where you have to go into a closet for seven minutes with someone, or they have to make out. So Jude had to go in with June. June. Yeah. And they didn't really come out. Why did he go in with her? It's not like that now. Oh, Derek made them. They didn't have a choice. But how did they not come out? We don't know yet. We'll find them, though. Are they hiding? We don't know. But are they still here, Kent? That's what we're trying to figure out, but we don't know. Well, you do know there are a couple of cops outside. A couple? Oh, God. Don't open that door. This is the police. Open the door. Upstairs. If they had a warrant, they would have said so. Door. That's bad for David. That's really bad for David's parents. Hi. You're not the kid I talked to before. No, I'm different. Open the door, son. Uh, everything's fine here. Really, did the music get turned too loud again? Open the door. We told you to keep it down, and you didn't. Now open the door. No, no, really, everything's fine here. We're great. How are you? Open the door. I'm um, gonna have to ask if you have a warrant right now. How old are you? 16. Is there any alcohol being served in there? Not that I've seen, no. What's your name? Luke. Listen, Luke. You're gonna open the door. We're gonna come inside and make sure everything's okay. Okay? Otherwise, everything escalates. Do you understand? Um, well, we should probably take a vote or something first. Just one sec. Okay, there's two cops outside. My brother says this happens sometimes, you just gotta wait them out. Otherwise, everyone's parents are getting called and there could be booze problems for David. So for now, keep the music off, everybody start cleaning up, but nobody leave. Hey, everybody, let's go, let's help me clean up my house. The number you have reached is a non-working number. Please check the number and dial again. This was supposed to be 15 to 20 kids. I agreed to buy you a keg, and now it's I don't know how many kids, and one of them is dead. You know how much trouble I can get into for this?
bastard. Dad! He's here in the stairs. What? Where? Which stairs? Back! Oh. Are we friends? No. Never? Never. Not even when we were younger? Didn't even know you when I was younger, and no. Derek was my friend. Really? Yes, really. I didn't do anything to Derek. They saw you do it, you asshole! Did you? No, I wasn't there. Where? At the park! It wasn't me, I promise. You're a twisted kid. You've always been a little twisted, kid. Always? Yes, always! Jesus! I'm calling the cops. Please, don't. I... I guess we weren't ever friends, but I can prove you can trust me. How? You went to bed until sixth grade. Oh, bullshit! And I never told. And you made out with Mrs. Brenner. You know June Johnson? Yeah. You know where she lives? Yeah. Where? Dudson and Third? Corner, I think. I didn't hurt Derek swear. And just so you know, you were my best friend. So we get a warrant. We're a bunch of kids. Who knows what they're doing in there? We can't. Why? Because I already called in that there was no booze. So we say we saw it now. How? Through a crack in the open window? Who cares? We just say. There are only three judges in this town, and more than likely one of their kids is in there. Look, every one of those kids' cameras is on us. Uh, some judge will sign a warrant, I'm telling you. No, no underage drinking, no 911 calls, just noise complaints. No warrant. But we got something better than a warrant. 
Recognize that car? I don't know. I put a thousand tickets on that car. It's Judy Dragel's kid. Oh, boy. Yep. To you. A bunch of guys attacked me. Who? I don't know. They just surrounded me and started grabbing at me before I could get away. Are you okay? No. Why are you up in the tree? Because those guys were chasing me and I lost my keys and they kept coming back to look for me. This might not even be your house, you know. This is my house. June. We're not where you think we are. What are you talking about? We're somewhere else, somewhere the same, but different, and I, I don't think you should go in that house. Shut up, Judy, and come here and help me get into my home. He's in trouble. What are you talking about? I think something really messed up has happened. Look, that wasn't there before. You think Jude wrote that? I do. I saw him. And I think he's in trouble. If this isn't my house. That's what I was saying. Is this a joke? We're somewhere else doing the same, but different. That your sister? Yeah, but I've never seen this picture before. Wait, wait a sec. No shit! And here we go. Mm -hmm. What is going on? 
Hello, Mrs. Drago. Just what the hell's going on? Uh, well, ma'am, your son's probably inside with a bunch of kids. It seems the party got a bit out of control. So go get them. Oh, we can't, really. Well, we don't have a warrant to go in, so we just have to wait till they come out. What? Oh, for Christ's sake, why can't you go in? And we don't have any evidence of drug use or underage drinking, and now it's pretty quiet in there, so really, we just have to wait and make sure nothing gets out of control again. <laughs> Jesus. Open the door, she comes in. Cop sticks his foot in the door, then they come in. Things get worse. How does this end? I think they'll leave. Uh, hi, Mom. E everything's OK. I'll see you at home. Fine, Eric, fine. And that is why we can't leave the house. Come with me. I went in there and I saw Jude. What? I know, I know, it sounds crazy, but I swear to you I saw him. What do you mean, though? I saw him, and he was getting the shit kicked out of him. David, come here. Was that there before? I don't know. It wasn't. We all looked and it wasn't. What is it? It's writing. It says get me home. He thinks Jude wrote it. Oh my god. The closet was hidden, right? We all know that there was never any writing in there and how come both of their cell phones say that they're out of service? Kent. I think they're in some kind of trouble and maybe they need our help. Look, she's gonna cry now. Why do you gotta be such a goddamn asshole every time? Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, you guys. Holy crap. It's like I said, the same but different. Jesus. And here, Derek is dead. Seriously? Yeah. That's what those guys were yelling when they were chasing me, but I thought that they were just trying to scare me. They're saying I killed him. Derek? In the park, some kids said they saw me. Didn't you? Jill. Dead. How did your dad die? He hit a deer on the parkway. But wait, he's alive here. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe this place isn't all bad. It's all bad. It's a different my dad and a different me too, I think. Wait, you saw another you? I saw my room and that was scary enough. Mr. Wallace. From school? Yeah. He punched me and threw me in his car. Mr. Wallace punched you? Our Mr. Wallace? He's surprisingly strong. He told me to get out of here. How? He said the closet, but I tried. Wait, you went back? 
Maybe if both of us. The place is gonna be packed with cops. Jude, what has he told you? What has he told you? That we have to get out. Good. Yes. How? We have to go back to the closet. And so, Jude? Please don't hit me, Mr. Wallace. And why the hell are you here? I tried. You tried what? The closet. It didn't work. Just you? Yeah. So, and I know that you are the little genius in the group. Maybe try both of you. Mr. Wallace, sir, uh, they found me, so the house is gonna be packed with cops and more people. Get in the car. Get in. Lie down the back. Empty. Basement? We searched everywhere, Derry. How do you know? I didn't even know that was here. Shut up. It's just a closet, you guys. It isn't. And that was honestly the most boring seven minutes of my life, assholes. I swear to God, I saw him. I know he's still here. Okay, then how do we help him? I don't know. I don't think we should leave. What if they're like at a movie or something? They're not at a movie. Kendall! Kendall Brenner! Come to the window now! God. That's Kendall's mom, Kent. He told you. Oh, yeah. Mr. Wallace, if we go to the house, I think I'll be arrested. Stop talking. Stay there. He's in charge of this place. You have seven minutes. Hopefully I'll never see you again. But if I do, there's nothing I can do for you. Come on, Jude. See these? Hmm? You see them? Take a good look. 
Because if you don't get your butt out here right now, it's going to be the last time that you see them. Maybe until you're married, Kendall. Her mom seems mean. Why would you make out with her? Shut up, Mel. Seven minutes. Yeah. Are you okay? I don't know. Yeah. I guess. You better come down here. Hi, Mrs. Sullivan. Where's Jude? I don't know. Is he not at home? Would I be here if he was? Try June's house. Hi, Nell. Wh who's June? June Johnson. They left together. To where? I don't know. We, uh, we didn't see them leave, so they might still be here. Why isn't his phone working? That's a very good question, Mrs. Sullivan. Kent? It's Luke. What? He's Luke. <laughs> He's Kent. Yeah, no, it's Kent. Yeah, Mrs. Sullivan. Where the hell am I supposed to look for my son? We still have four minutes. Can I ask a question? Yes, it was my first time. Did I not do it right? You did fine. Was it your first time? No. What happens if we open the door and we're still here? We quickly forget about how maybe I didn't do so good and we run fast. You did fine. Jesus, why do you still have that? It's my mom. Really? Wow, looks like it was taken forever ago. Yeah, but it's her and I think it's how we got here. How? I don't know. The same, but not the same. But this was where we were. And I don't have one. I don't think it's that. Well, something did it. Yeah. I don't know. You ready? I guess.
Let's get out of here. Where is everybody? I don't know. Hi, Mom. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you headed home? I went by to pick you up, but everybody was gone. I got worried. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Sorry, but Mom, where is everybody? What do you mean? I mean, it just seems like nobody's around. It's late, Jude. Just come home. Okay. Jude? Yeah? Come straight home, okay? Okay. What did she say? that it's late, but it was definitely my mom and everything sounded okay. Oh, it's Wallace. Should we run? Yes. <laughs> After us, where are we now? I don't know. I don't know. We, we passed Gaylord. I remember that. This all looks wrong, though. Where the hell is Prosserdale? I have no idea. Yeah, well, we're on it. Nell? Hey, my dad's back. Where are you? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, come to Kent's. Everybody's here. Everybody like who? What do you mean, everybody? Is Derek there? Yeah, but he's being OK. Just come. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure where we are now. Who's we? Um, I'm with June. Yeah, that's what everybody said. We just got lost. Where are you? Uh, it's some street called Prosserdale. That's right here. That goes to Kent's. What? Just stay on that road. Okay. I guess we're close to Kent's. Really? She says. Careful. What? There's a dog. There was a dog. Hello? Kent? No. Yeah, no. Oh, yes. Hi, June. Hi. 
So this shithead kills me, and then you start boning him. Shut up. And I didn't kill you. You're standing right here. Dude. Jesus. I still have the pencil. Why did you do this, Jude? I didn't. And why would you pick her over me? He didn't touch me, Belle. That is a great answer, June. Well done. We're gonna play another game. Seven in Heaven was clearly a blast for you two, but this one I think you'll love. Really, we've been waiting for this for a long time. It's like truth or dare, but more fun. Let go. I didn't. Don't I... say anything, Jude. Not yet. You looking for mommy, Judy? You know, it's not truth or dare, really. It's more like lie and die. We ask you a question, and if you lie, bing! A magic door opens up and grabs someone you care about, and then you get one more chance to tell the truth. What? What the hell are you talking about, Derek? You'll see. So, when you said that little thing about how Judy didn't touch you, that was a lie. And now here's your sister. So come on down. Now you get to play one more time. Are you ready for your question? I wasn't playing in the first place. Oh, yes, you were. <clears throat> June, question? What? It's an easy one. Trust me. What, Derek? Your sister's away at school. Do you miss her? Of course. to us, June. You lied to me, and you lied to them. If you hadn't, your sister would still be fast asleep. And she would have woken up. Now, Judy, it's your turn. And again, I do think this is an easy one. We want to start off slow. But we have a special guest for this one. Hey, Jude. So that marbles thing that you were so very smart about, what is it called again? Binford's Law. Yes, that's it. I'll certainly never forget it. But that wasn't the question. Do you love Penelope? Or Nell, as I guess you call her. I don't know. Well, it seems you do know. Hey, dude! Is your dad alive? No. Wait, what? Are you sure? I thought maybe you saw him. He's dead. And how did he die? In a car accident. <laughs> the 
Let's see if this thing works backwards. Judy, that was a tricky one. Told the truth and he still died. Ken? You're a weird ass kid, Judy. Did you wet the bed until sixth grade? No. This is not how this is played. The game's a game, Derek. Ready for your next question, Kent? Oh, shit. Please. Oh. Hi, Mrs. Brenner. Please, don't ask anything. You go. Derek, why did we never have sex? What? Why? Because we didn't. No. No, because you finished as soon as I took your belt off. Ready for the next one? Derek! Don't say another word. Trying. Not really. What? You're just going around and around. But I don't know how to. Yes, you do. If you wanted to end it, you'd end it. Come on, dude, let me in! Dude, come on, please, please! I like her, by the way. Yeah, I do too, but how do I end it? Just like our chess games. You have to reset the clocks, get everything back to zero, end the game. End the game. If I end it, you won't be here. Right. And neither will you. Please, June! June, please! June! Let me in! Come on! You have to hurry. Dad, what is this? Hold on to it till you get home. Ask your mom. My dad. Run, dude. Run. Jude! What the hell? Run! Shit! Keep it closed! Judy! Open the door, Judy! I told you, Jude. If you didn't make it out, there was nothing I could do for you. You also once told me it was your job to get me out into the real world. This isn't the real world, Mr. Wallace. For you, it is now. No, it isn't, and I can get us out. Take us back to the house. Then we'd better run.
cutting through the park. How do they know where we're going? They know, and they don't want you to make it. Why? They want you to stay here. They want to hurt you for as long as they can. Why? Because they can. Because you let them. This is the place where the worst thoughts take over. Everybody's worst thoughts, and you sure as hell turned everything upside down. We need seven minutes. I know. Will we have seven minutes? Probably not. You said you had a plan. We're gonna die if we stay here. But I know how to get a seven minutes, I think. How do we do it? The same way we beat their game. We have to take it over. We need to control it and end it. How? We have to destroy the closet. We, we need to reset the clocks. What? I thought you said it was the card or something. Maybe the card's important, but my dad said to hold on to it till we get home. Like a, like a passport. What? It, it's only important when you're away from home, but... But you still need it to get home. But how are we gonna tear down the closet and use it at the same time? The gas can that you smashed my head on, does it have gas in it? Of course. We tear it down as we go through. What if some of the others have gone through? I, I'm sure they've tried, but I don't think the closet would let them. Why not? No passport. Oh, shit. Who is that? My grandmother. So? Okay. She has a key. Oh, this is bad. Give it the full seven minutes. June. I don't like this idea. It'll work. How do you know? I promise it will, please. They're going to kill us, please. Come on. Please. <laughs> Come on, I can't do it without you. said this is the world where our worst thoughts take over. So? We never made them answer the second question. What? We could have hurt them. We could have killed Ken's mom or Derek's dad, and we didn't. And like Wallace said, it turned everything upside down. If we won't kill them, this world can't use us anymore. You really believe that? I think I do. Yeah. All right, let's all play. Hands on our heads, butts on the floor. Now! Where's Derek? I don't know. I thought he was down here. At least I don't have to pretend to be Derek's girlfriend anymore. Yeah, but I wasn't pretending with now. Are we going to jail? What's your name? Thomas Ferris. Well, we'll just see Thomas Ferris, won't we? Shit! What? The hinges is burning my back. Your sister is fine, I promise. Just four more minutes. <gasps> First grade, this is gonna be like that. 
We're gonna go outside and I'm gonna start calling off the names of everyone whose parents are outside waiting for them. Then you will be released. For those of you whose parents clearly don't give a damn about you, we will have a van come and take you to the station. They can meet you there, okay? Okay, good. Can I get Lisa Burke and Chuck Mallet, please? On me, let's go. Then I'm gonna need an Ashley O'Neill, Megan Collins, Stephanie Kelly, Matt Thompson, Scott Worth. Excuse me? Is Jude Sullivan in there? Sullivan? Uh, no, I haven't got him. June Johnson? Johnson. Nope. I think our kids are missing. Their phones don't work. Someone here said they left. Disappeared. Disappeared is, I guess, what they said. Everybody just stay there for a second, okay? Jude. Mom, just for a second. I didn't kill Derek. Okay, that's that's good. Jude. Nice to see you. You too, June. Kent, are we friends? <laughs> of course we're friends, man. Where you been? I'm not sure, I guess. Hey. Where did you guys go? It's really confusing now. Okay, I'm gonna go back up there and I'm gonna look for Derek. Where the hell were you? Huh? Search the house top to bottom. Did you guys go to a campfire? <laughs> hey, mom. What's this? <laughs> a few of us made these years ago. When we first moved here, it was sort of a joke gift. We made them and we put them in the pack and we gave them to the husbands. What'd Dad do when he saw it? He played along. I think he liked seeing some silly different version of me. Oh. You okay? Yeah. That was forever ago.
The rest of my body's facing up Bad idea got good enough What the hell came over me To modify and throw away the key Watching my heels get back so bad Upgraded, just different What good is the future now to me When all I see is the path I leave It's okay, it's okay for a little use Waiting for earthquakes, finding conversation is boring Not recognizing a definite possibility